Table of Contents and Layers. The Table of Contents is one of the most used windows in ArcMap. Here you will work with the data frames that you have added layers to. You can customize layer symbology, labels, drawing order, and much more. You can also sort the layers by several different methods. List by drawing order. Here you can see the order that the layers are drawn. The layers at the top will draw in the data frame on top of the layers that are listed below them. You can also organize layers in groups. List by source. Here you can view the source location for the data you have in your map. This will also show whether the data is in a folder or in a geodatabase. Note, if you have tabular data added to your map, you will only be able to access it here. List by visibility. This tab will show what layers are checked on. If a layer is grayed out due to a custom scale option, it will be listed separately. List by selection. Here you can see what layers are selectable and how many features are actively selected for that layer. You can also toggle on and off whether they are selectable. Options. Here you can customize selection labeling in the table of contents and choose the default layer patch appearance. Layers. Layers are the visualization of spatial data that are displayed in the data frame. You can customize the appearance or symbology of a layer, create custom labels, or use a layer to run various analytical tools. There are countless customizations for a layer, and we will cover some of the key concepts for Catastral GIS. Layer Properties To customize a layer, you will need to access the Layer's Properties menu. To do this, you will need to double-click on the layer name, or right-click on the layer and select Properties. Once you open the Layer Properties, you will see several tabs along the top of the window. We will cover some of the most commonly used tabs next. General. In this tab, you can change the layer name, add a description for the layer, and list the credits for the data. You can also set the scale range for the layer to turn on and off at certain scales when you zoom in and out. Source. The Source tab is primarily for viewing where the data is stored and to see what is the native coordinate system. Display. Here you will primarily set a layer's transparency. You can also enable hyperlinks on a certain field in a layer. Symbology. This is where you will customize a layer's appearance. There is an incredible amount of customization that can be done here. More on this later. Fields. Here you can turn on and off fields from view and change the order you see fields listed in the attribute table. This does not change the data of the layer. It just changes what you will be able to see in that particular map document. Definition Query. In this tab, you can set a custom SQL query so that only certain data in a layer is shown on the map. More on this in Chapter 5. Labels. This tab is used to customize labels for a layer. You can change the appearance of the text and how the label is placed on the map. More on this in Chapter 4.